Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Penpa Plus. Recently, I added quite a few new features like constraints, Penpa Lite, and some new settings, and some other minor improvements. In this episode, I'm going to give a brief demo of these new features and also show what kind of improvements I have done. Just so that you are aware of it and may start using it in while creating or solving puzzles or sudokus. The first feature I want to talk about is constraints beta version. Basically, I, as you know, Penpa offers many choices of different uh, elements to create your puzzles or sudokus. You can do shading, uh, lines, edges, different shapes, lots of shapes. There are some special modes, composites, lot of options. So as a new user, it might get overwhelming to figure out where are different things for your to meet your needs. That's why I introduced this constraint feature. It's kind of like a predefined templates which will filter through these options and just highlight the ones which you need for that particular variant. I will keep updating this list but if you have any suggestion or particular new or preference which you want to me want me to give a high priority please let me know through the comments on this video or just join our discord channel over the ctc where we have penpa plus channel you can message there uh, whichever you are comfortable with so let's see what it does so let's say if you want to do odd even sudoku if i select this you can see it has all other irrelevant modes are now not visible uh, and the only modes which useful to this or even are available to the user so for example if you click shape you can see only options are the circles or rectangle or squares similarly if i want to do let's say thermo sudoku you can see these options and if i switch to I mean you of course you have to just do a quick play around with the options available but it has already been filtered and so it's much much easier to draw this or find this element uh, among so many options so now thermo i just selected the special thermo and then start dragging similarly for arrow you can see it switches arrows the shape contains the double digit arrow elements and if you want just a single digit this is the option then there are some variants which requires you to place elements on the edges and by now a lot of experienced users are already aware that you need to switch this border button on to place elements on like edges or corners but no worries if you are not aware if you select a variant of that type for example if i select crop key there is this informational message so it says turn border on so if you and turn border on you have crop key let's go to shape it's already on circle dots and I can start clicking on these corners or edges. That's it. So it's as simple as that. So select your preferred variant which you want to do. Let's say XV and number. I can type X, Y, whatever. Again, just go through these options and it makes the it filters you the choice of element for you and makes it easier so that's about the constraints and if i switch back to all all the options are back again 
The second feature, so this is constraint was more kind of useful for setters. The second feature is penpa light, which is I feel very useful uh, for solvers, but it ha but the action but it has to be set uh, by the creator or the author. So what this penpa light does is under this tab menu you can select your choice of modes which you think will be useful for the user to solve your puzzle so let's say if i select surface or and sudoku normal these are the most common two choices if you are creating a sudoku and so if i selected those two and if i click penpa light on and you can see all the other options are now disappeared only these two will be visible to the user making it much more easier for them to solve the puzzle and one kind of i guess as a data check point i have added let's say if you haven't selected any tab more and you try to switch on it will display this information message that hey please select some options under the tab menu and then switch on pen palette so that's kind of very useful uh, because it cleans up the display and it makes enhances the experience of the solver so i i highly recommend to use this feature while you are creating your puzzles just enable the modes which you want uh, and and then switch on pen palette and then you kind of know the rest of process to share puzzle and stuff even if you are not aware please check out my other videos which cover those things in details so that's about pen palette and the solver can always turn it off to have access to complete set of uh, modes but uh, yeah so it's up to you uh, i highly recommend it then the last section i want to talk about is some new setting options which i added like the sudoku pencil marks it's basically related to the sudoku mode and the center choice you can see these digits it's default is dynamic size by that i mean if i place more than six digits the size becomes from large to small to accommodate into the cell but if you prefer like a fixed size of high, large or small you can do so let's say if large only then even if i place more than five digit it will remain large the second one is sudoku normal uh, this is mainly if suppose we have like killer cage and let's say we have like a killer total here um, let me switch to killer yep so let's say we have this total and if i now try to place a digit in the cell the bigger size you can see there is some kind of a small overlap over this uh, given clue value so if you want i mean don't want that overlap you can select sudoku normal to be bottom so that you can see it shift a little down closer to the bottom edge of the cell and so no overlap and then star battle dots is basically in the composite object mode star battle you can play star dots on the edges but some people may not prefer dots and then so if they don't want it they can disable it here and you can save all the settings by doing save settings yes and what this does is if i reload penpa and if i come back to settings you can see it remembers the settings which i have used so you can save the settings and every time you reload penpa it will uh, recollect your choice and set those values 
so that's about uh, from me uh, in this episode i spoke about constraints penpalite settings i hope you enjoy these features and one last thing before i uh, i guess <laughs> reach a conclusion for this video uh, is recently i also improved uh, sudoku solving mode so that you can wrap around the grid easily so you can see um, now you can go and come from down so i and also i kind of um, so if i do arrow movements at least it doesn't allow to select this kind of half cell which is visible so if i use arrows it will skip that just to i guess enhance the solver experience some little improvement i wanted to share so that's all from me and please don't forget to like and subscribe this uh, like this episode and subscribe this channel to stay tuned with all the latest updates with penpa till then take care bye guys